Anders in Belgium, is the owner of the most successful pigeon family in the modern-day pigeon sport. His pigeons are the foundation of countless top lofts and a guarantee for success. 1976 was the start of a success story having the chance to learn everything about pigeon fancying at an early age is an undeniable advantage. Gabby learned a lot from his father, Gentile, who was a great champion as well. When starting out on his own in 1976, Gabby already had a lot of knowledge about the sport and he could always turn to his father for advice. This allowed him to reach a high level of performance fairly quickly, initially in the sprint and middle distance competition. His impressive career started when Gabby borrowed the renowned Zitter Pigeon from Joseph Delotter. Gabby could not find a good partner for Zitter right away so it was paired to the phenomenal breeding hen Amique from his good friend Gilbert Van Paris first. Gilbert had been particularly successful in the region with descendants of this invaluable stock dam, which was often paired to his Ungleam. In his total auction in late 1983 his stock dam was transferred to the Norman Pigeon family, where she laid the foundation for a number of national first prizes. This hen was paired to Zitterk and they bred Gabby Van den Abel's outstanding number one stock sire Kleinen, BE 8132382523, whose direct descendants have really rocketed the Van den Abel pigeon family to the top nationally. They were so successful that the neighboring clubs did not want to basket the Van den Abel pigeons. They were simply too strong. This means Gabby had no choice but to shift his focus to the provincial and national classics. Such champions as Piccinol, Fidel, Turbo and of course the amazing Mr. Wittenbwick were all direct sons of Kleinen and they really overpowered their opponents in quite a number of races. In 1988, the season in which his now world-famous Wittenbwick was born. The Van den Abel pigeon family then started to develop quickly and Gabby soon became an internationally acknowledged fancier. Wittenbwick was outstanding both as a breeder and a racing bird. His success story has been extensively reported in the press. He was the second leading figure of the Van den Abel pigeon family after his father and he is the grandfather of the third iconic pigeon in this loft, the equally legendary Blixem. These are highly talented and invaluable pigeons whose direct descendants have played a key role in many pigeon lofts worldwide, making the Van den Abel breed one of the most successful pigeon families worldwide. Turbo Another son of Kleinen has bred some very good pigeons as both racers and breeders such as Borgs and Het Provinciak. It is this type of selection that makes a good pigeon fancier. When creating a new breed, Gabby has always focused on his own champions, the stock lines of Kleinen, Wittenwick, Blixem, Rudy, Super Romeo and several others, to come up with a new team. He managed to get the most out of his own successful bloodline, which has managed to excel in many races over the past 35 years. His greatest breeders are used for artificial insemination to fertilize his best hens, allowing Gabby to breed a great number of descendants in a short period of time. Gabby is a fancier who never sits still. He is always looking for improvements to strengthen his breed and to stay ahead of his opponents. Wittenwick, B88 320-6112 Winner of three provincial races. He was a racing wonder with the following prizes. First Interprovincial Angelium 638 km 2450 pigeons. First Interprovincial Poitiers 538 km 2713 pigeons. First Interprovincial Limoges 592 km 2309 pigeons. 
Second Provincial Poitiers 538 kilometers 1435 pigeons beaten by loft mate that dropped with him. 11th Provincial Poitiers 538 kilometers 1438 pigeons. 20th Provincial Poitiers 538 kilometers 2348 pigeons. 29th Provincial Angelium 638 kilometers 2374 pigeons. 39th Provincial Poitiers 538 kilometers 1953 pigeons. 59th Provincial Poitiers 538 kilometers 1292 pigeons. Wittenbuck was also a super breeder and took over from his father as the loft's number one stock bird. He was without a doubt one of the world's most influential breeders ever and his descendants are winning all over the world. Mixtures The Van de Nabel mixture is still used as the everyday feed but the feed consists of 10% of sunflower seeds and of 10% of hemp seeds on the last two days before basketing. That's it. Some B vitamins are added to the drinking water on the final day before basketing, as well as some electrolytes on the day of basketing. This is provided on the day of arrival as well, in combination with a breeding mixture after a particularly hard race. After that, the usual Van de Nabel mixture is provided, as well as some seed egg food for the next two days. The drinking water is supplemented with Avidris, Naturalin and Karis bath salts, as well as Blitz from. Some tea is provided from time to time as well. Training The racing pigeons are trained twice a day and Gabby pays particular importance to the training intensity, rather than to the duration. Two solid 30-minute training flights per day is more than enough for the Van den Abel racing pigeons. Gabby thinks it would a waste of energy to have them train any longer. The pigeons will only see their nest bowl before they are being basketed, to make sure they are relaxed. Their hens are waiting for them after the race and their time together depends on the difficulty of the race but they usually cannot spend a lot of time together, approximately one hour. Medication Gabby tries to keep medical treatments to a strict minimum, which means he will only provide the necessary cures, including vaccinations against respiratory diseases. He consults a vet only if the pigeons do not perform as they should and if he thinks something is wrong. He sours the drinking water to prevent respiratory diseases and there is a treatment with a cottage dry disinfector approximately three times a year to purify the pigeons' respiratory system. The pigeons are also treated against paratyphoid just before the season. He used to vaccinate the pigeons as well but not this year. Pigeons that require a lot of medical attention will not have a bright future in dentrodom. Gabby thinks a solid breed is based on careful selection, not on medical treatments and vaccinations. This is something he learned from his father Gentile. Gabby Van den Abel has been a successful fancier for 30 years and his career is based on a solid pigeon breed in great health. These pigeons perform really well in the most demanding weather conditions with a velocity of 1200 meter per minute or less. He has a total of 50 widowers that are ready to start the season. These are mainly yearlings, because his young birds, usually the third round, are only trained for the middle distance. This means he does not adopt a strict selection procedure for his young birds. In fact, the Van den Abel pigeons are at their best as old birds which explains the high number of yearlings in his team. His old birds are trained for the national one-day long distance, 600 to 800 kilometers with races between Limoges, Brive, Cares, Sulac, Tull and Montauban. The yearlings are basketed for the national longer middle distance first, before completing one or two long distance races later in the year. Most racing pigeons from Dentrigam will be basketed for three seasons. Some will have a fourth season, as well. Only the best racing pigeons will then get a place in the breeding loft. With this approach Gabby has a fairly young group of breeding pigeons available. Thank you for watching. Until next time.